Well, Abby and Jess, it's really a chilling sight. Just how many dead birds there are out here. If you look just behind me here, there's dozens here in this parking lot, but there's more. If you look across the street, hundreds in the street, and there were even more in this parking lot earlier today before crews came to clean it up. Now, one expert says he thinks that the birds were seeking shelter in these trees back here. You can see how some are barer than others, and that's when the storm struck. It's not normal, um, but it does happen from time to time. And unfortunately, you know, while we all love the, the rain in July, um, you know, when we get a big storm like this, it, it can't kill, kill wildlife. A bizarre sight, hundreds of birds dead after a storm swept through the metro Saturday. Michael Holmes with the Department of Wildlife says the birds were likely gathered together waiting for the storm to pass when something shook them out of their safe space. You know, I'm not sure if this is related to hail, uh, wind or lightning or maybe even a combination of all three, but all those things can be fatal to birds. You take the good with the bad when you, when you get these big rains in, in July. You know, sometimes you get big storms and that, that, that can be detrimental for wildlife. Many of these birds, known as purple martins, sleep in trees, some of which now have bare branches, their leaves covering the road. We've seen this before, whether, when, whether it's uh, big storms uh, or, or wildfires or, or, or record breaking cold, the wildlife will bounce back. We, do, we just got to do, do what we can to provide them uh, safe places to, to live and thrive and they'll bounce back. Now, crews spent the afternoon cleaning up these parking lots here. The city of Oklahoma City says that they are working to clean up the street. Animal welfare is responsible for that. They say that they are working with other departments to get all the equipment they need to clean this up as soon as possible.